Hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. <laughs> From the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now hear Hotline editors Amy Walter and John Mercurio. Hello, Dolly, and welcome back to Hotline TV. I'm John Mercurio. And I'm Quinn McCord. If people, people who need people, are the luckiest people, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton are pretty lucky because apparently they were in need of some diva action on the trail. After Obama's campaign announced Oprah Winfrey would be stumping for him, the Clinton camp shot back with a diva of their own, Barbara Streisand. But John, does any of this really matter? The war of the divas. The short answer to your question, a very good question, Queen McCord, is no. It does not matter. None of this matters. It's fun to talk about. It's fun to write about. Everybody will be, you know, sort of chatting about um, Oprah uh, versus Barbara Streisand. But there are really only a few Democrats left on the national stage right now who I think between now and Iowa or between now and New Hampshire could get involved in this primary and really have an impact on the race. Of course, somebody like Al Gore could get in. Uh, he's, it's not the same Al Gore that it was back in 2003 when he endorsed Howard Dean. He's extremely popular inside the party right now. He could have a huge impact. Uh, for the Obama campaign, which would probably be his most likely uh, endorsee, uh, against Hillary in Iowa. And look, I mean, for somebody like Gore, who's sort of now a little bit off the, the national stage, at least on a political level, um, this would be a reintroduction to, to, to sort of the political world, the political stage, in a way that I think would keep him relevant to politics after 2008. Look, if there's a Democrat in the White House and it's Hillary Clinton, um, you know, he's a little bit less relevant than he is right now. Also, somebody like Ted Kennedy, I think he helped Al Gore in 2000 uh, in New Hampshire beat Bill Bradley and then sort of lock up the nomination. That, is a, that could be a key endorsement. And I think John Kerry is still relevant. But don't you think maybe, just maybe, Oprah is in a different category of someone who does bring in voters who, doesn't, who don't normally vote? It's a oh. different, sure, go ahead. Well, I mean, I, I think both of these endorsements are such perfect encapsulations of the candidates themselves. I mean, you know, Barack Obama talks about not revisiting the baby boomer fights of the 60s and 70s, and of course, Barbara Streisand is, is a perfect sort of symbol of, you know, 30 to 30 years of, of Democratic boogeyman. Mm -hmm. um, but it's true among the younger set, she probably doesn't bring along people who weren't gonna vote anyways or vote for Clinton. Right. Um, I don't know, but Oprah could be in a category. I mean, she, she reaches so many people, a lot of whom maybe don't vote, um, that, I don't know, is she in a different field, a different league? She's in a different league, but I don't know, and I think that it certainly gives Obama a little bit of star power. First of all, the endorsement happened months ago. I mean, the fact that she's actually campaigning for him yeah. is the only real news. She's in a different league, but I don't think she actually moves votes. I think she just brings to Obama something that he's already had for the past year, which is sort of a, a, a rock star level quality. Uh, about his candidacy. The other point, though, that I think is interesting is that, look, we're ha this is happening as we're seeing in tandem. The, this is the most tandem, I mean, this campaign between Obama and Clinton has been run like a tandem bicycle race. I mean, every time he does something, she tries to do something. I mean, we're talking about Barbara Streisand and Broadway musicals. I mean, every time, you know, every, everything he can do, she can do better. Uh, and the campaign that she's running, I think, is it, it, in a way, it almost can backfire on her by, sound, by seeming a little small-minded. That every time he comes out with an endorsement, she has to sort of one-up him or try to upstage him in a little bit of an ankle-biting sort of way. Uh, I guess there's a danger of that, but I, but I think she's been, she's been pretty careful to, you know, there's always a good reason for doing these things, and I think the, the press hasn't picked up on it. it. You know, I think the average voter maybe doesn't really think in those terms of picking up like, oh, she did this, he did that, she did that. Um, they just hear at the same time, you know, Streisand, a, a Winfrey, you know, endorsements, whatever. They don't necessarily think that Clinton planned all of this, although we probably think that, well, she might have. It was orchestrated. Well, you're right. And on the other hand, she does sort of keep him from getting, uh, you know, the, 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 from capturing the storyline. But Quinn, that's about all the diva talk that I can personally handle for one day. So we'll catch you back here next time on Hotline TV. Hello, darling.